Hello. I came up with another idea to help you get ready for water uh, treatment, water distribution certification exams, and that was to identify wrong answers that frequently show up to our multiple choice questions. Uh, as somebody who writes a whole lot of test questions, I'll tell you that one of the most difficult things that I face is coming up with wrong answers. And if you know what these commonly used wrong answers happen to be, you can avoid selecting them when you take your certification exam. So let's take a look at a few of my favorite wrong answers. First, manganese green sand. Now this is a filter media material that is only used for iron and manganese removal. So if the question doesn't pertain to iron and manganese treatment, manganese green sand is the wrong answer. Eutrophication. Well, that's a nice word. What does it mean? That is the accelerated growth of uh, algae, usually, in a, uh, an aquatic system. And it is usually artificially um, caused by too much nitrogen or phosphorus, too many nutrients in the water. And uh, it results in rapid growth of algae, usually blue-green algae. So it has it only is going to apply to questions regarding blue-green algae and maybe water quality associated with surface water. Next, Schmutzdecke. This is the biologically active layer at the top of a slow sand filter. So this only applies to slow sand filters. Anywhere else, it's a wrong answer. Thermocline, the center layer of the three layers in a stratified lake is the thermocline. The epilimnion is above it, the hypolimnion below that. And the thermocline is the layer of the lake that experiences the biggest change in temperature. So the thermocline only applies to lakes. Next, brilliant green bile. This is a, an ingredient that is used during the confirmed step of the multiple tube fermentation test. It's a uh, chemical that we use to help determine the presence of coliform bacteria in the water. So BGB only applies to coliform testing and the multiple tube fermentation test alone. Now here are two words that are spelled very similarly and sound even more similar, but mean two very different things, coliform and chloroform. So coliform is a form of bacteria, the one that we check looking for pathogen presence in the water. And chloroform is a disinfection byproduct. So they're not related to one another at all, even though they sound and are even spelled fairly similarly. Initial turbidity spike. When we first put a filter online following a backwash, the turbidity is often high for a little while. Uh, up to four hours is uh, OK under the regulations. But the initial turbidity spike applies only to filter operations. The aquitard. The aquitard, also known as the aquaclude, is a layer of soil that resists the flow of water. So it is usually made up of clay type materials, very fine materials that block the flow of water. So aquitard, if we're not talking about a layer of soil or groundwater type of uh, question, that is another wrong answer. Recarbonation. Recarbonation is uh, only practiced in lime softening. When we engage in lime softening or different variations on lime softening, we raise the pH of the water very high to begin the precipitation of calcium and magnesium out of the water. But that very high pH water cannot be sent to our customers. We have to bring the pH back down to 
a more neutral level. And recarbonation is the most common way of doing this. We just put carbon dioxide back into the water and it brings the pH back down to around 8. So recarbonation only used for uh, lime softening. And none of the above. None of the above is a favorite wrong answer because it is the lazy person's way out. They're making the test. They can't come up with another wrong answer. So none of the above shows up as letter D in your multiple choice selection. It might be the right answer, but generally it is just I ran out of ideas to come up with wrong answers. Here's none of the above. So I'd be very careful about ever selecting none of the above as a correct answer. So here are our top 10 wrong answers. Hopefully that helps you avoid a pitfall or two on the state exam. And if you want more help in preparing for the state exam, please visit us at most.